infrastructure sustainability is very important because infrastructure often has very long lives, life cycles. Um, the design lives of infrastructure can range from 50 to 100 years plus, and the, the various impacts that are felt across that, that life cycle can be quite significant. Um, so they can range from environmental impacts like uh, pollution of waterways or air, uh, through to social impacts, etc. And then the, the amount of money that we spend in developing infrastructure is quite significant. These are often large projects that take uh, considerable resources to uh, construct and then operate. There are various rating tools which have been established to measure the sustainability performance of various sorts of infrastructure and construction in general. So in the building space you've got rating tools like Green Star. In the infrastructure space you've got ISCA's own uh, Infrastructure Sustainability or IS rating tool. Um, there are other guidelines like the Transport for New South Wales Sustainable Design Guidelines and Vic Roads have their INVEST tool as well. These tools were developed, I guess, as part of a global trend. So we've seen sustainability starting to be addressed through rating tools over the years, um, commencing in sort of the early 2000s. And the take up of these tools has, um, has started to transform the sustainable construction space. Now what these tools mean, I guess, for the supply chain, these tools are a way to describe what sustainability means when it comes to construction and, and operation. Um, and by putting these sorts of descriptions and standards in place, it starts to be, develop a language around what sustainable construction means, it starts to drive performance, and these become performance management tools for the whole industry. So clients like to specify what kind of performance they want, contractors like to be able to show what kind of performance they can deliver, and then flowing through the supply chain, so suppliers and subcontractors and the like, if they can find ways to achieve the objectives that the clients want, um, to meet the performance benchmarks, the descriptions in the tools, um, that can be a really good way to show their performance and also to establish improvements in their performance for their own internal perspective, their own stakeholders, community, uh, their own employees. So the tools can really help to drive that performance right across the industry.